what is up dudes yo another raven tech 10 review for you okay i'm gonna be reviewing windows 7 ultimate boom oh yeah windows 7 ultimate yeah so let's take a look at some of the features that uh, windows 7 ultimate is bringing to the table so to speak <laughs> um Right, for some of you that uh, are still using Windows Vista Ultimate or Windows Vista, get it out of there. Get Windows 7, dudes. This is way better. Alright, it's less laggy. I have Windows 7, I mean Windows Vista on my laptop. I did use it on my main PC for a bit. And, bah, I didn't like it. Not at all. But I got Windows 7. And awesomeness is the best word to describe it. It is so much less laggy. Um, it's just so awesome. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you some of the features for it, of it. You can personalize it just brilliantly. You can right, right click on the desktop and hit personalize, and you can go down to the themes. They got some preset themes made for you. Say nature. Do do. What was it bringing up? Okay, nature just changes it, and as you can see down the bottom here. If you look at the start thing, you can see that it's slightly see-through and so is the start menu. Slight part of the desktop, few icons behind it. Uh, and I think that's a really cool feature. You can change that if you don't like it. Um, you can also send it back to Windows 7 Basic or Windows Classic. Why anybody would want to do that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, different themes. You can open up the themes, create new themes download themes online it's so intuitive um so let's let's pretend i'm gonna make a new theme so if we go to uh desktop and then let's uh say i want this theme uh that one you just tick a load of them uh or you could just select all let's say that so much quicker um and you could say change picture every 10 seconds shall we say 10 seconds let's do it we'll have it on shuffle so you know you won't uh, be on your desktop and then seeing the same image go past every image and you'll be like oh I know what image is next you'll be like oh it's a surprise didn't know that image was there and they are so good quality these images if I save changes and then uh, click ask you can see how crisp the quality of these images are definitely made for high resolution monitors just awesome let me show you another feature okay so if we go to open up some of these say we want a new uh, a new Internet Explorer or Firefox open you just right click on there go up to Mozilla Firefox you can also close the window if you hit right click and go down to that or you can unpin it from the taskbar so it unpins it and it won't be there another cool feature we can also drag things and pin them onto it say I want to uh, pin VLC media player onto there just drag it and it says pin to taskbar yes I want to do that and you can pin it there so every time you don't have to look through your desktop for the icon you don't have to go to start menu look there you just go there double click opens it up you're ready to roll okay you can also just unpin that and another thing okay let me show you the cool thing that can be done uh, if you open up a new Firefox and say oh no I need to open up another one because I have to go to YouTube and do some other stuff oh what am I gonna do opening up YouTube okay so what you can do is you minimize it and just throw it to the side oh yeah throw it to the side you got another one up you think oh oh it's in the way oh no what will I ever do throw it to the side then they're both lined up next to each other and you're ready to go yeah so if you want to watch your YouTube video there do a bit of messaging on the other side you'll be set oh yeah messaging yeah just do that and then you're set to go and let's say I just want to look at YouTube and you're like oh no but it's not big and I, I can't press the maximize button for some strange reason what will I ever do what you can do is this just whack it against the top and it increases the size to maximize 
you never need to use the minimize or maximize again oh yeah well you probably will use the minimize but not the maximize okay um, you can do that and another cool feature is say if you want to bring up loads of web pages uh, oh I've got loads uh, what will I ever do say I got that one I got that one I got them three so if I've got all them I can just go and I don't want to see any of them because I'm annoyed with them what I can do is go into the bottom right hand corner just highlight over I mean just hover over that um, option in the right bottom right hand corner which says show desktop and it shows the desktop allows you to look at the background have a look at the icons just in case you forgot what it's called or something like that I don't know and then you can just hover back over it again just come off it and then it goes back to the web pages you were looking at go back over again oh desktop go back over again ah web pages and that's a really cool feature another cool feature I like is able, um, being able to let's say I want to look at a video here oh I'm watching a video yeah you can do that you go into here and it should show it if you minimize it sorry <laughs> if you minimize all these and you don't know which one you want to go to hover over that and it should show it there it is just hover over it and you'll be there that's a really cool feature that's 3d game man yeah uh, but <laughs> okay so that's cool you can just do that with anything that's up you just do that and just hover over it and then it'll show it that's cool I just do it to the next one and if you want it open you just click on it and it's open you're ready to roll this is so easy to use it's so not laggy at all compared to uh, Windows Vista Windows Vista Ultimate is so much smoother and it will run on lower end hardware so if you haven't got a big beastie PC like some of us then it will run on it most likely maybe not if it used to run Windows 98 or Windows XP some for some probably won't be able to run it but if that's what it was preset as but if you have a let's say a laptop which is reasonable power it should be able to run the 32-bit version not the 64-bit but the 32-bit um, I, I am currently running the 64-bit uh, and it's just brilliant it allows me if I run 64 bit it allows me to increase the RAM size and it allows it to recognize it and use it and stuff but it does use less RAM hardware so that's good if you have a uh, less RAM in your PC but I recommend just getting more um, and let me show you another one um, if you go to the start menu and you don't want to take a screenshot you just can't be asked you just want to take a screenshot of a small area instead of taking the whole thing and going into paint and editing it you know you don't want to do that just go into your start menu and if you don't have it there just type in snoo snipping I just type in snip go up to programs it's right there that's another cool feature if you type in things it'll look for it look for you automatically in all your documents and folders it's just awesome so I've typed in snip and I've gone up to the top and it says snipping tool click on that oh yeah it whitens out your desktop say I want to get a cool uh, image of that guy there do that look at that and then you can go file save as save it where you want oh yeah I've got a cool image of that dude <laughs> and then if you just click X if you don't want it no and then yeah so you set I recommend buying this because it's brilliant just awesome I love it it's so much better than Windows Vista so much more intuitive it's more refined it's just so look at the quality of that image it's just so much better and their preset images I didn't download them they come with the computer uh, it's just brilliant so if you're thinking about getting this you totally should thanks for watching this has been a Raven Tech 10 review